you know. Okay, so with Valiant coming up, I figured that I would do a video over Valiant. <coughs> Explain some things about it and uh, hopefully get some uh, attention brought to it. Valiant is a 24-hour event that is very odd. It's odd for a number of reasons. Number one, it does not start at reset. It starts halfway, like, I'd say about eight hours after reset. As you can see here, you can see uh, event time is five o'clock in the morning through till five o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is uh, Central U.S. time frames. Uh, if you check the uh, event, it'll show you what time frame it starts your time frame. It is controversial because you have three kingdoms that will be attacking. Uh, two two uh, outside of kingdoms will be attacking our kingdom, and we can go attack their kingdoms. Your troops come back at the end of it. However, and this is the, the really important thing, it doesn't matter if they come back. Uh, it is all about points for individuals and for the server, the kingdom. <coughs> Every troop they kill in another kingdom adds points not only to the individual, but to the kingdom's score. Uh, the higher the kingdom ranks, the uh, more rewards the kingdom gets at the end of Valiant. The higher you rank, the more rewards you get during uh, Valiant. You get rewards based off how many of your troops are killed and how many troops you kill, how much are, uh, resources you steal. So it is very, very, very important uh, to play it smart. I say this and I will explain it. Playing it smart merely means if you are planning on going out and uh, collecting resources, uh, looting resources and killing troops in another kingdom, you need to know a time frame of about when you're going to do it. And you need to purchase shields corresponding to that. Um, you go in through here. Uh, your shields should be right here. So let's say... It starts at 5 o'clock in the morning for me. I'm not going to go out and raid until around 7 o'clock. I would only activate a two-hour shield. Uh, but I would also set a timer on my phone. So just in case I am not right back and ready to raid when that shield elapses, I can go ahead and use another two-hour shield. However, if it starts at 5 o'clock and I'm not played, planning on going out and raiding until let's say noon i would go ahead and hit an eight hour shield that way there's no chance of me missing a two hour shield refresher uh, and i would stay shielded because they will come and attack your sanctuary and they will kill your troops they will steal your resources it's how they gain points for themselves and their kingdom as i just said it is vitally important that you don't let them do that when you're out hunting, make sure you keep random uh, teleports ready. Uh, if somebody teleports next to you, hit a freaking random. Get out of there. Don't let them attack you. Uh, if you can't, pop a shield if you can. Most people, if you're out raiding, will not be able to pop a shield because you will have War Frenzy active. So hitting a random is the only way to pretty much stop from getting attacked. Uh, unless you're really good at targeted teleports. <clears throat> Most people aren't. So hitting a random is pretty much the fastest way to get out of there. Um, if you are not planning on raiding at all during Valiant, then it is highly recommended that you go ahead and use either a 24-hour shield, or if you're not sure you will be back within that 24 hours to refresh it, go ahead and use a 3-day shield. That's what I do on my farms. That's what my wife does because she has no interest in raiding at all. So at reset, before Valiant starts, she activates a three-day shield. That way she doesn't have to worry about being back online at a certain time to refresh it. It's, it's there throughout the entire Valiant. There's no worries. She's not going to get hit. The next thing to be alerted to is during Valiant, 
if you send out marches to harvest in harvest nodes, resource nodes, they can be attacked. And towards the end of Valiant, a lot of other kingdoms get desperate for kill points, and so they will literally target resource nodes. They will come into the kingdom and they will just hit every resource node they can. That way they can stack up easy kills because they will send a full march against it. You don't have a full march in there unless you're unusual. Um, and so their, their march will just come in and wipe out your, your resource node and it leaves a bunch of dirty tiles. So during Valiant, if you can't protect your nodes, I would 100% recommend don't send any harvesters out except to the Alliance Mine. Now, if you're one of the few that, that cannot afford uh, shields or don't have shields or whatever reason, it is highly recommended two things. Number one, find the Alliance Warehouse. There's two ways to do this. Um, it's right here, or you can go into Alliance, Alliance Territory, and then you find Resource Warehouse right here, and you can click this and it'll take you right to it. Get your, your resources stored. Don't leave open resources on your castle. Second thing to do if you cannot is going to shield and park your troops or as many troops as you can in their castles. Good ones for this. Genetics. He has a permanent shield. He's not active. Uh, send send a, a full march of troops there to protect him. As I said, my wife, Skyware, uh, activates a three-day shield. So you're 100% safe reinforcing her. Um, ask around in Alliance for anybody that is going to be reinforced or is going to be shielded and just get as many marches out there reinforcing others as you can so that your troops and resources are not at home. They will not attack your sanctuary if you do not have resources or troops to kill. So don't give them points. Don't give them free points. If you're not going to be able to maintain a shield, before Valiant starts, send your troops out into reinforcements into those that are going to be shielded and get as much resources as you can sent into the warehouse. Any resources you don't, talk to other members that are going to shield through it. Ask them if you can send them the resources and then they'll send it back after Valiant. I have no problem doing this. Um, so, you know, I may be out and I may actually get hit. But my wife, Skyware, um, she does not raid, as I said, so you feel free to message her. She'll probably agree to allow you to send resources to her, and then after Valiant, she'll send them back to you. There is a loss there because it does cost to send it both ways. Two. Um, it is very, 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 very important that you either shield or you protect yourself during Valiant. Uh, if you're going to be out raiding, well, it's 50-50 shot whether you're going to get attacked or not. Uh, it can be well worth it, especially if you're, you're strong enough to actually get out there and do it. Um, you can get out there and you can raid other, other uh, kingdoms, rack up some points, get some pretty nice rewards. You can also get resources that you bring back and do upgrades with. If you're worried about whether you're strong enough, Ask the uh, higher power people. Most of them do go raid. And most of them would not have a problem with you going with them uh, as long as you're not attacking the same sanctuaries they are. Um, they have no problem protecting you. They have no problem uh, guarding in case uh, another sanctuary comes and wants to attack you. They'll, they'll help. Uh, these are all things you can do to be safe during uh, Valiant. Uh, that's all I'm going to cover in this one is just Valiant. I really hope people pay attention and either shield or protect themselves. Every single Valiant, we have people that don't. Um, a third of those complain about the loss of resources when they come back. We start notifying on Thursday. Valiant doesn't start till Saturday night, Sunday morning. 
Saturday morning, Sunday night, or Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, we start warning a day to two days ahead of time. Shield, 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 shield. There's always people that don't. Please try to be careful. Try to be safe. Shield or protect yourself, like I said. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me. I'm on Kingdom 595. My uh, sanctuary name is Melon Curian. Uh, you can also message me on Discord or here on YouTube. Thank you. Have a great day.